What's going on guys? Tyler here back with another video. We're out here gonna do a little bit of smallmouth fishing today. Um, had some ridiculous weather. Water temps here got up to 60 degrees a day before yesterday and it's currently at like 51 and falling. We've had some pretty cold weather the past few days. Currently sitting about 42 degrees and I don't know man, I'm kind of anxious to see what this bite's gonna be like because the water is getting warmer. See if they're gonna be pushed up feeding or if they're gonna be back in their winter spots, but who knows? Let me show you what I got rigged up and let's get started. All right, I got that Daiwa Zillion sitting on that Mojo Bass 7.1 medium action rod. It's a new jig head. Um, it's a Gamagatsu. I don't know if they call this the mini underspin, finesse underspin, I can't remember. But either way, it's a size one hook, eighth ounce, and it'll be perfect for this creek. Got a three inch swim bait rigged up on it. And well, we're just gonna cast around and see if we can find out where these fish are. And if we're lucky enough, hook up on a smallmouth. There's a fish. Feels like a good one too. It was sitting up behind a rock. Sitting up behind that rock over there in shallow water. That's a fat little smallmouth. Come over here. I'm not even gonna get the net for this. I'm just gonna drag him over here to the bank. Let's go, let's go. Right where you want that hook to be, that is a fat little smallie. We haven't been here two or three minutes. That was probably 10 casts or less. Let's hope that's a good sign. There's one. Brought it right down the side of this bridge piling. Where are you going, dude? He is absolutely squealing some drag. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, that's a real good fish. Stay down. He just spit up a crawfish. Oh my God. That is a stud smallmouth. We're, we're definitely getting the scale out for this guy. That's probably, I don't know, 18, 19 inches. Three, three on the dot. We'll get another weight just to be sure. But up until this point, you guys can see that or not, 216 was the best of the year. Just hit a 3-3. You guys can see that or not. Oh, I've got the soft tape with me. I've got it on the ground. Flattest spot I can find. This fish is a little longer than I thought it was. <laughs> got the tip of the fin right on the end of the tape. That's almost 20 inches, bro. Just a fuzz over 19 and a half. All right, guys, this fish was just over 19 and a half inches, 3.3 pounds on the dot. Actually, I think this just broke my PB length. I don't know, I'd give it about 19 and three quarter. I couldn't get an exact measurement on it, but beautiful fish, man. Beautiful fish. All right, that's two fish so far, including a PB on the finesse underspin from Gamagatsu. Oh man, that is insane. Good news is just landed a PB. Bad news is all the GoPro batteries I charged are sitting at home on the countertop. So I've only got one battery left. So hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll last a little while and we get some fishing done. Get it all on camera, make a nice little video. I just moved to this area, I don't know, early last year. 
I've fished this creek probably 10 times, I'd say, and I have never caught anything here. Never. It looks good. There's another one. I just said I never caught anything here, and this is another good fish. Next cast. Stay down, buddy. Yeah, you go over to the shallow water. Let's get you up on the bank. No, 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 don't do that, don't do that. Dude, this is another stud. Oh my God. <laughs> this is nuts, dude. No. What, what is happening? That's a stud too. Let's get the scale and the tape on this guy. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. 308, back to back three pounders. You guys can see that they're tail pinched, 19 inch fish. Back to back 19s, back to back three pounders. Let's freaking go. All right, guys. There's a good look at the fish. A little black spot there on his gill plate. Absolute gorgeous smallmouth. I know I've said it like three times already, but back-to-back 19-inch -back fish. Back-to-back -back three pounders out of this creek. And whew, what a day already. All right, guys. Like I said a minute ago, GoPro batteries are dead. No underwater shots, but God, what a beautiful fish. There's something to note while you're out fishing and you know, you're trying to put a pattern on, trying to get on a bite. Pay attention to where you're catching fish at. All four of my fish today have come outside of the main current. Not necessarily in deeper water, just not directly in current. It's not saying they're not there. I'm not saying don't, you know, put time in in other areas when you're catching fish, but maybe not spend as much time outside of the areas you're catching fish in. There we go. This dude's a fighter right here. He was barely skin hooked. Spally number five. All right, when I pull up on these spots right here, like we saw my current and, you know, outside of the main current or whatever, Obviously this place here has current, but it's, you know, the water's a little deeper, so it's not as strong. So these fish could be literally anywhere. So here, I just look for submerged rock, timber, you know, some cover for these fish to get in and hide and you know, wait on uh, wait on some bait to come by. And then they ambush it, kind of like that one did. There's a bunch of chunk rock over there, right where that little small mouth was hiding out at. All right, the last battery I have is on its way out. We just dropped below 20% and don't know how much more I can be able to show you guys of today. But the bite has slowed down a good bit since, um, you know, when I first got here, but I've only fished about an hour, hour and a half. But I'm gonna keep fishing some. But if I get lucky enough to catch any, then I will just post the release video that I take on my phone and hopefully that'll suffice. All right, I hope the angle's not too bad on this fish here, but I just caught fish number 14. Another 19 inch, three pound smallie. Look at this guy. He has took a good bite up here around his top fins. I was literally standing, I'll show you where it was at a second ago. 
I was literally standing on this rock where my bag's at. And right here off the tip of that rock, it, it isn't two feet deep. This fish was laying. Absolutely insane, man. Third 19 inch fish of the day, third three pounder. Let's send him back. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today. <laughs> I really wish I hadn't forgot my GoPro batteries because I just had the best day of the year and arguably the best big fish day of my life. I had three smallmouth over 19 inches. But overall, man, that was an excellent day. It's Easter Sunday. I hope you guys had a great weekend. And man, I'm looking forward to some more of this smallmouth bite. But anyways, I appreciate you guys tuning in and checking this one out. As always,